News 3 live at 5 and 6 on all your devices. Right now on News 3 Live at noon, Metro officers shoot yet another suspect. What police say the person did that led them to the shooting. And Henderson police arrest a woman after a barricade situation. We'll have the latest on this case. Plus, the Vegas Golden Knights selling some of the team's used equipment today. We'll take you right there to where you can score this sale. News 3 starts now. Good afternoon to you, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm LaToya Silman. Metro Police investigating the department's second police shooting in just 24 hours. It was reported around 5 o'clock this morning on Boulder Highway near Russell Road, and police say a man armed with two knives was spotted at the entrance of a business. Metro says officers tried using several less lethal methods to stop the suspect, but investigators say when the suspect charged at the officers, they were forced to fire the weapons. And it looks like they're both in hog heaven. Well, next on News 3 Live at 1230, a former president loses his head over the Washington, D.C. heat wave. You can see the toll that the heat took to a statue of Abraham Lincoln. We'll have a look at the reaction to this viral video. Right now, News 3 Live at 1230, an American reporter jailed in Russia goes to trial. How Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gersovich's friends are saying about his, uh, his condition right now and how he's doing. President Biden and former President Trump, they're preparing to face off in their first debate of this year's election. What we can expect tomorrow night. And today marks 30 days until the Paris Summer Olympics. We'll have a look at the preparations. We'll also find out which U.S. athletes have been left out of the competition. News 3 starts now. Thanks so much for staying with us. American journalist Evan Gersovich appeared briefly before a Russian court today. and He appeared with a shaven head for the start of a trial on charges of espionage. Gersovich stood in a glass box wearing an open-necked shirt with his arms folded. The 32-year-old Wall Street Journal reporter accused of gathering secret information on the orders of the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency about a company that manufactures tanks for Russia's war in Ukraine. One of his friends says they're expecting the worst. Well, here's what we're working on for News 3 Live at 3 today. The battle to keep Lundy Elementary School continues up in Mount Charleston. We have a meeting tomorrow, we're told, that could determine the fate of the school at Mount Charleston. The latest on the back and forth after that school was damaged by flooding. And the Eagles residency at the Sphere is such in demand that they're actually adding even more shows. We'll have details on those new dates for you. We'll have those stories and more coming your way on News 3 Live at 3. The romance between Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey and pop star Taylor Swift inspired a movie coming out this holiday for the holidays. The Hallmark Channel, the NFL, Skydance Sports, and the Chiefs all announced that they are working on a holiday movie called Holiday Touchdown, a Chiefs love story. While the plot of the movie isn't based on Kelsey and Swift's romance, it perhaps did inspire the film. It is unclear if Swift or Kelsey are directly involved in the project.